hard work, you know. And if you do a whole lot of them at once, I'm getting quite weary. Now, weary is the word. I'm getting quite um, exhausted. It's a lot of force to push against all these. If you're only doing one, it's okay. these because these are really tight ones. You know, if you got a really tight one, it's a regular pain in the butt. I'm going to let you stand up and look over my shoulder this time. Put your tripod down so you can see what's happening. And then you can actually even stand up higher. There. Hello. Okay, so let's see what we need to look at. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do with this one, which I just took out of the oven, which is still kind of hot. There's my other mitten. Did I drop it? I did. It's over here. Oh, I guess I can sweep the floor now. Okay, so. Now see how it's cracking? See how it's separating? So let's just continue and separate that right off. So you aren't really going to be able to use it that way anyway. Okay, this wants to break into strips, so it's going to be good for weaving, for making baskets, because you see all the, the broken parts there?
maybe they alternate them because together they have too much force against the opening up process, the flattening process. If you've got them all going the same direction, that makes sense. They do get pretty strong. Right, this is about when I need a big stack of encyclopedias. What do I use? The tile's not heavy enough. Okay, that'll do. Nice big old bag of rice. See why it's so important to have good starch. Okay, how are we doing? Are you still on? You are, aren't you? I want these to lay flatter too, so let's fetch some more rice. Mm. Okay, and I think we have another bag here we can use. I think that's pretty good, eh? I still have more to do. Hmm. I think I'm getting a little tired. So let's see what we've got in the oven. I have some little pieces here. About using the vice. This is what you need to do it with big, huge vices. That works lovely. Lovely. Folded part of it, see? Let's do the other side. 